Trade What You See with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Each day when I do these shows, I try to give you things that I think are very important. And I wanted to bring to your attention, you know, these 382 patterns. And I posted the one from the crude oil, and I posted the one for the E-mini S&P, and I posted the uh, other one for the Treasury bonds. All of them were, you know, huge winners. And uh, someone said, well, that's just, uh, you're not posting all. I, I can't post them all. I'm just posting the ones that I see. Now, this is part of the crude oil complex because when you crack crude, you get heating oil. And if you'll notice here, the low today was an exact 382 of the low that we made right here after the big move down. It went exactly to it and stopped right there. And it's already taking these highs out in just a matter of three. So that's three out of three today. Folks, of all the stuff that I've done in, in my life in trading, and I've done a lot, and, you know, the ABCDs are extremely important. The Fibonacci's are extremely important. But if you had one thing and God said you can only trade this, I think I'd say, God, I think I'm going to trade three A2s. And the answer for that is threefold. One, you're trading with the trend. Two, you know exactly when you're wrong because if it goes below 618, you know something's not right. And three, this puppy works about 70% of the time. And I'm I'm just, uh, I, I watched, and Tom Hugard does not quantify it like that, but that's how he trades. He trades in the direction of those types of, of trends. You know, that's what he's doing. Here is the one in the crude oil, because this was the one that uh, it's, it's also gone up in the new high ground also today. So you'll see, and I'm not going to do all of them because, you know, you get repetitions, the mother of knowledge, and but uh, that doesn't make a whole lot of difference. But, you know, we did, we, we showed you the treasury bonds and they, they broke well over $1,500. These have moved several thousand dollars. Uh, the the, the uh, S&P uh, worked for about uh, 15 handles. It's now back to the uh, 382 retracement. The last I checked, it was trading there at around the uh, 20, uh, I believe, excuse me, it's uh, 2145 uh, is the number uh, on the uh, on the crude oil. and uh, But the 1.27 on the downside was um, 4124 and it didn't get there. So there's a still possibility that this market could have another rally in it, you know, because it's holding up incredibly well. I mentioned that you know, early in the day, because as we looked at the e mini Dow Jones, which has been the leader because of the, the you know, the big stocks are, they're price weighted, not cap weighted. After the 61% retracement was hit, it's been only down 400 Dow points, you know, and the S&P's come, you know, all the way down to almost to the 382. So this has held up well. Russell, not so much. And neither is the NASDAQ, but the Dow Jones is holding up. And that's part of the reason of, of the, you know, what you're looking at with uh, those 16 uh, or so stocks in the Dow that trade in the hundreds. And, and uh, what, what was it? Boeing Airlines happened to be one of those. And I focused on that. This was from the folks over in the uh, Las Vegas group. Keep it as simple as possible, just looking at hourly charts and finding ABCD patterns. And you can see today, he had a beautiful ABCD right up here at the 61% uh, retracement, and it broke $5. I don't know what's happened since that time, but there was a beautiful ABCD right there at the 61% retracement. And look at the on the way down. There were ABCDs all the way down there, three of them, and telling you this will be a good place to buy it. And boom, by golly, that happened to be right. Now, it doesn't work all the time, I say, but by golly, you should pay very, very close attention to it. I'll tell you what I'm going to do is when we do this next uh, uh, trading session, I'm going to spend probably 90% of my time uh, on 382 patterns for the folks. Now, they work the best in strong trending markets like we're having today in crude oil, heating oil, gasoline, 
uh, and some of the others. But uh, that's the main thing that, that that you're trying to do is to is to pick that out as your best uh, guess to uh, you know try to find out which one the which one of these work the best. But the probability of them winning is extremely high, and um, you know the risk is extremely low. And you know right away when you're wrong because it just goes through it and you're just out and you just go on to the next one. But I bring up the ones. And, I, and I, remember, folks, I did these ahead of time on some of these today. I did it in the, the, the especially in the uh, Treasury notes and Treasury bonds because we had had the big break and we had a 382 retracement the previous day. And I wanted to show you that's what you should probably try to expect. And that's what we were looking for was that. Now, we had one here in gold here at the 2044, uh, I believe, just a little while ago. If that gets above 2047, that's a no good. That means that would that, that one's not break. That's not working. But this one had two of them. Now, there was your 61% retracement was right there. That's, you know, remember, we, we got out of our longs there. I didn't reverse and go short. Uh, why I don't know, but I didn't. <laughs> and anyway, there was your 382. We mentioned that to you yesterday. Here was the one today, and we've already broken down. We're almost taking out. I don't know if we've taken out 120, the handle of 129. In other words, to make 128.31 yet or not. But uh, it's been a uh, big, big move down. And those are some of the things that uh, you know. The, as we go through looking at these today, that it's uh, it's extremely important. Ah, here I've got the Treasury bonds, not quite up to date, but close enough. You'll be able to see the fact that uh, they are uh, breaking down uh, from those levels uh, that we were talking about. You can see them; they're just lined up really nicely. And I know we're lower than this because I haven't checked it since that time, and so. That would tell us that we're going to make a large A, B, C, D to the down here. And at that point, you'll have a three drive pattern. You'll have a drive one, drive two, drive three. That'll be down 128, probably 128.16, somewhere in that ballpark. We have to do the work on it a little bit later. But the fact that we broke below there tells us that we're, we're getting ready to um, this. In fact, it, once it went below 130, folks, it officially became a bear market. That's why this... Uh, rally back to the 382 was so important because after the market became bearish, just like it did here, it rallied right to the 382. It didn't get any higher. And this is the second largest thing that's traded in commodities, folks. Number one, of course, is the Treasury notes. That's the 10-year. And then this is the 30-year. But uh, that's how it works. Now, this is not foreign exchange. This is the actual Treasury notes and Treasury bonds. This is the Treasury bonds. So that's what we're paying attention to as we uh, go through some of these. I've been asked to talk about that hog trade, mainly because not many people trade hogs, but when the pattern is there, I, I think it's necessary to, you know, to pay attention to, to why it works. And I'll get this hog trade up, and when we get ready to come back from the uh, break, I will show you my uh, – thinking behind it. I got a lot of laughter uh, in the video last night because I couldn't make up my mind uh, down in here. And what I finally decided on was this. And when we get back uh, from the break here pretty soon, oh, we've got plenty of time. We've got a few seconds left. Anyway, uh-oh, now I messed it up. Just a second. There we go. But uh, I, I was assuming that the... the with there now I now we can take a break. 877-927-6648. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously 
When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. .com. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating Investors. C -c Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I've been asked to explain this hog trade. First of all, don't trade cat I don't trade cattle and hogs very often, but when a pattern is nice, and these, these hogs and cattle are traded by the hedge funds big time. There's huge open interest in these. The pattern is beautiful. Uh, we had an ABCD coming in here, as you can see at the 1.27, that was at 82.90, uh, and the low today was 82.65. It, it, right after that, it rallied... Um, Two, two full points, which was $900, and I don't know what it's done since that time, uh, but what I tried to do was to be a little clever and buy it at the ABCD, and that, that, that violates a very important principle. Albert Einstein said, mathematics precedes geometry, is what Einstein said, and this is, mathematics are these little lines like this, these little A, B, C, D lines are the geometry. So you got to go with those lines, and that would have got you in right on the low of the day, and it would have worked. Now, I had to make a decision. I make these all the time. Sometimes they're right. Sometimes they're wrong. But I try to forget them as best I can. But, you know, you don't always get that choice. But what you try to do is to keep the odds in your favor. And when you're wrong, you get out of Dodge. That's all you can do, folks. And believe me, I can tell you I've been to Dodge uh, <laughs> quite a few times, so I know that it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a pretty big deal. Anyway, I, I've been doing charts for so long that I've seen so many of them that uh, I have a tendency to be a little bit more uh, careful uh, with other people's money uh, when I'm working with Tom's group and stuff to keep our losses small. But I spent at least seven or eight minutes trying to talk myself where I should buy it, and I find it ended up on the ABCD here of this big move. And I I even mentioned the fact that mathematics precedes geometry, and yet I still went to that level right here. And there was a reason for it. It was this gap right here. 
Gaps are danger signs in the ABCD program, folks. Whenever you, when you're in a BC swing like this is right here, BC, when you this is there's your AB, here's your CD. When you're in this CD swing like this, and you're coming down from C, and you have a wide range or a gap, you can almost bet two eggs out of a dozen that it's probably going to exceed it by a little bit. Now, this is still only rallied two points. This might come down and still make this. So I'm going to make this a still a live trade, but I've got to follow it closely here for now a day or two because if I'm wrong, and if I'm wrong, what I'm going to do is, Johnny, what am I going to do? Johnny is holding up a little placard with three numbers on it. And one is a three, another one is an eight, and the other one is a two. And he's going to say, yep, I'm going to be looking for 382. And Why? Because when major tops and major bottoms are formed, the 382 is where you want to be, folks. That's the main thing. You've got to be able to, you know, follow that. But I, I did want to bring those to your attention today because they are, you know, e extremely important. And uh, the fact that that heating oil and the crude oil, I didn't even look at gasoline because I hardly ever trade gasoline. I wish I didn't have to use it. It cost me $90 to fill up my car yesterday. First time ever. Oh, couldn't believe it. I, to me, that was uh, just uh, absolutely uh, unbelievable. I've had a request, too, to re talk about uh, Stan Harley's chart here that uh, that he talked about here last week because it, it's it's very, very important. Uh, because these markets repeat over and over again, and we really need to be watching the time around the uh, June 29th level. Uh, that's what uh, he was looking at for a pullback in here. So if we get that, that would be a very, very interesting one to pay attention to. Basically what this is, folks, uh, this is a 20-year chart overlaid over a 20-year chart. In other words, this is a 20-year time period. This is a 20-year time period, and it shows to you the lows and highs have very, very similar time frames involved with them. And there's the next one coming in. So the work that he does is very, very sensitive. So we'll have Stan on uh, several times before this happens. But we want to keep watching that because that's an unusual chart to see that. And we know that these things repeat over and over again. And that's why it's uh, it's so very, very important. Um, the uh, Someone else also asked a question uh, about the, the natural gas that uh, we've been trying to buy. Here again, this was one that we did here uh, on the natural gas, and the same thing occurred. Uh, you'll notice here that we were trying to buy this ABCD pattern down in here, uh, and, and we did, and we did it okay. But what we did was after it had a really good move, I moved my stop too soon to break even, so I didn't get it until Sunday night. This was the 382, and I went through all of the, 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 the things from the uh, crude oil complex, the heating oil, crude oil, and gasoline, and also threw in natural gas. And all of them were saying that we had had 382 retracements. And we had Mike Moore on last week, and he mentioned several times that this was probably going to be a real interesting bottom. And so what we're looking at here is a spot where we can probably buy the natural gas and uh, it opened slightly higher and had a run up and we've not been able to make the 382 yet see we missed it by uh two dollars here this morning because there's your low uh, there's your high there was your 382 and now you're in the the process of making a another abc to the upside so i will still be following to find out when we do get the first 382 because you know, what happens is these things keep going up and then you forget to go back and look at it and that's when it happens and you want to be paying uh, close attention to it. Really powerful pattern, folks. It's one of the, it's a, well, some people use 0.238, but frankly, I, I've never used 0 0.38, 0 0.238. I use 382 only in strong trending markets and that's what we're seeing so far here in the complex uh, for crude oil and then also in the energy part with uh, natural gas. So those are the ones that I'm watching and, and how I follow it. So it's all related to risk control. Uh, it's a simple pr process of, you know, getting exactly where you want to be at a certain time 
and that's uh, the main thing of uh, why you want to do those. So I hope that gives you some really good ideas of uh, what's going on. When, when we come back from the break, I keep a file here. I'm not an Elliott Wave person, but I, I like the charts that they bring up sometimes and, and uh, longer term. Some of the work that they have is, is really amazing. And I think it's time that uh, what we'll do is we're, we're going to review that this is going back uh, just about a year. I've kept these because I wanted to see what the market would do during that time. And it's done pretty much uh, what was expected. And we'll go through where we are and the fact that we've had retracements back and all these things. And uh, it, it's interesting, the fact that all the news that's coming out is telling us that, wow, something really big might be out here. But we have to wait and see if, in fact, this is going to be uh, too much at all. But we'll have uh, – not, it's not a lot of stuff. There's just a few charts, and some of them are really interesting because what they do is they tell you a pretty good story uh, of the psychology behind some of this stuff. Timing-wise, shucks, it could be off by six or eight months, but the underlying fundamentals, I guess is what you would call it, are still there. What we try to do is to match the patterns with the ratios to get on board. We'll be right back, folks. 877-927-6648. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. OK, 
Okay, folks, we're back, and I wanted to bring to your attention some of these Elliott Wave charts. Now, remember, these are these are quite old. These are probably nine months old, maybe longer, because you can notice here that the year down here was a couple of years ago, but you can see we're released into 2021, so they're about nine months old. What I wanted to do was to show you that as we're going up into this area, what you want to be doing as a trader is tr trying to find out where would be the best possible place to exit. Now, you can't. This happens to be margin debt. You know, I don't trade margin debt. I hardly ever look at it. Uh, but there's others that were in here. The other one was the fear and greed index. But all of these charts, and I saved them for a reason, because there they had some validity as far as what was supposed to be uh, going to happen. Now, here is another one. And believe me, these things have gone completely off the tops of these charts. In other words, these, this was not even close to the top. They went much, much higher than this, but they kept going higher and higher and higher. Nothing wrong with that. I mean, I, I'm wrong. I'm, I'm wrong a lot. You know, when, when I'm wrong, I'm certainly going to tell you. Well, I don't have to tell you. You're going to tell me because you, you let me know that for sure. But look at the Here's one that I never follow at all, but this one happens to be with penny stocks. I've never traded a penny stocks. I've looked at them. I've been involved in court cases with them and stuff, but I've never looked at But look at the trading volume in the penny stocks. I mean, this looks like the tulip bulb thing from uh, 1649, for God's sakes. I mean, that's a, that's a huge thing. And then here is another one here. This is record volume on the uh, New York, uh, excuse me, on the NASDAQ exchange. And believe me, this went much, much higher than this when we had the... Uh, you know, the, the all these stocks that went, you know, crazy to the upside. So they went much, much higher than that. The reason why I'm trying to show you this is going to be the very last uh, chart. And this is second to the last, which is shows the insider selling versus insider buying. And I wanted to show you that here again, you're looking at these spikes levels that we've never seen before. But the next one, this one, this is the one why, why I saved the whole group is because of the fact that this was the one that really, really made sense to me. And this is his long-term prediction of what the stock market might do. And if we get this up here, you'll see that he was looking at these ratios. Now, he picks a, he picks a, you know certain of these. This is the area between 1960 through 83. 83 is when it broke out to the upside. But this is where, um, where he picks one of these numbers to come up with the square root of, of 1.618 up into this area here, which is what we were looking at eventually. What we were doing as we go, as we kept going higher, here's where Trump was elected. But as we get up into this area, that's what I go to is the daily chart. I look at the daily for the Dow Jones, the S&P, NASDAQ, Russell, and I try to find places where the time and price comes together and says, yes, this could be the spot where I'm going to take a a legitimate risk calculation, an intelligent risk speculation, as we say uh, in, in the trade here as we look at this. Uh, the other thing is, folks, uh, what we do here has nothing to do with gambling. We are, we, what we are, we are insurance uh, uh, investigators. Is our, uh, we take the, the alternate risk of insurance. In other words, if someone wants to have insurance on a house, we'll, we'll take the other side of that. In other words, if someone thinks something's going to go up, we might think it's going to go down, so we'll take the other side of it. So we're basically an insurance. has nothing to do with gambling, folks. Gambling is based on an event that once it starts, it cannot be pulled back. The toss of the coin, spin of the dice, turn of the card, you know, the toss of the ball, blow of the whistle, shoot of a gun, whatever it happens to be. That goes on until the event is over, and then the bets are paid off. Well, with trading, you can go in, and two seconds later, you say you make a mistake, and you can get out, and they'll pay a very, very small commission. You can't do that in a gambling event. They have control over that, and the odds are predicated in their favor. When you bet on a, spending, a sporting event, you have to pay 10%. Uh, in other words, if you, if you uh, lose the bet, you pay 10%. If you win the bet, you don't have to pay it. But somebody's going to pay it, so it's 5%. Every time they take action, they're making 5%. You talk about the billions of dollars that are bet on these games and horses and soccer and football, basketball. They make a lot of money, and they're very good at what they do. I follow the spreads just to see how good they are. I might make two bets on a uh, event uh, in a year, uh, football game, never basketball, football games once in a while, never baseball, 
but uh, that's and and that's only what this year that my the, the in the in the bowl games Alabama was in some type of a baloney bowl. I mean it was nothing, and they were playing a team that that they, they couldn't even carry the uh, the. Um, the equipment for the Alabama team and Alabama was a 21 point favorite. And, and I said, Oh, this is a mortal lock. And they won by, they won 47 to nothing. So when I see a mismatch like that, then I'll, they'll make us, and when I talking about a small bet, I'm talking a hundred bucks and my, my record in the Derby is unmatched folks. I mean, you talk about somebody that's been hot, boy. I hit the 1987 Derby with Ferdinand, the number one horse. I had Thunder Gulch in 1995, and that's two out of the last 30 years, so I'm 15 for one. I did get a fourth place finish, but it didn't play anything this year. But I only bet 50 or 100 bucks, so it's it's not anything you know to write home about. But when anybody challenges you about the gambling and, and speculation, believe me, there's there's no comparison. There's books that have been written about it. That in fact, Mark Douglas introduced me to several of them because people would ask me that question, and he told me the answer. He says, "The answer is the only thing that they do is that we keep score with money. Other than that, they have no uh, legitimacy or any any type of things that are the same because you can change your bet at any time and quit and get out. You can't do that. You don't have control of your money if you're gambling. If you're speculating, you have control of the of your money." And that's the that's the whole difference of uh, what we're what we're doing. You see, that's a that's the important thing. I did want to mention uh, one other thing here uh, on the uh, this trade that we were looking at yesterday that worked so well, which was in the um, uh, Canadian dollar. Ver oh, oh, what happened here? Which was the Canadian dollar. Uh, once we went through that, uh, you know, the seven eight six level, I says we're going to go down here and make a double bottom, and that's exactly what we did. And then we rallied up, and we're just in this zone right here, right now. So as soon as we got to this level right here, buyers f finally came in. They didn't come in at seven eight six. They didn't come in at six one eight. They didn't come at fifty percent. They didn't come at three eight two, but they did come in right here. So this is going to be really interesting here in the next day or two in fact is what we're going to do is when we come back from this next break we are going to take a look at uh, this particular trade and to see if in fact it is going to be you know something that we can actually put our uh, number on it and see if it's uh, see if it's going to work or not but that'll be when we come up uh, with the next break uh, if you have any questions 877-927 uh, 6648. I'll be happy to answer any questions uh, any questions for you. I will probably be doing um, two shows the rest of the week, possibly three, because Basil's going to be gone, and I'm putting together some things, uh, of past things that I've learned and uh, trades that I did that didn't work and why they didn't work, and, you know, all those things help because – you got if you got a bad golf swing, you got to get it corrected, folks. We'll be right back. 877-927-6648. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. 
Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. To Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, what I've done here is blown up the chart of the Canadian dollar versus the U.S. dollar to show you what happened here on a longer term. Uh, well, it's not longer term, but it gives you a, a macro view as opposed to a mini view. We went through the 50 382, 50%, 61, 78.6, and we got down to the double bottom. That's when we came just in a few pips of the exact double bottom. Then you can see we started to get a rally in here. So what I'll be doing tonight is I'll be looking for the high down to the low to see what the 382 retracement is going to be on this move because that's going to give me a chance to go in and you'll have a pretty good chance to see whether that's going to be uh, a viable trade or not. Here happens to be a 382 right here. You see that we rallied one, two, three, four, five, six days. And if you went from your high down to your low, up to your high, that was exactly 382. Now, this 50% is based on this number back here, but the 382 from this high down to this low comes in right there at the 382 level, which is uh, pretty much spot. You know, that is right. It's at the 50% level, not the 382. So the 382 is here, so it goes right to your 50% level, and then uh, it, it has uh, the final final move down so we'll be watching the 382 on this part of the move and that's what uh, will give us a pretty good chance of uh, what we're watching through uh, some of these other things that we're paying attention to uh, today now I wanted to uh, bring to your attention I talked about Boeing uh, earlier but I wanted to also talk about this wheat market because I tried to stimulate a little action from uh, those that seem to be really interested in ABCD patterns when I was doing them live in Las Vegas on the 26th. And it's uh, some people have certainly uh, opened their eyes, but there's the wheat trade we sent last night saying that should have some resistance up here at the 370 and look for a move that would be equal to this one right here. And we, in fact, did get that today. We went a little bit below uh, the uh, 382 retracement, but uh, it did equal this last correction so there's a possibility now that we've got another a b c d on top of another a b c d and that's what we'll do tonight is determine if in fact that is what is happening we don't always know that it's going to be happening but that's what we think it might be happening so let's uh, watch that 
as we go through and look at this. Uh, the euro, uh, also the euro has not gotten to our area of uh, uh, buying, uh, covering the short. Want to get this up here because it's close, but it still hasn't gotten there. And we'll get this up here. You'll see there's where we uh, we sold it w way back here is where we sold it. There was the first little Gartley. We rallied up, and now we're making this larger A, B, C, D pattern down in here. That's well over $1,200. And uh, so what we'll do is we'll, we'll book that, that money, and then when and if we get a rally, and we're expecting the rally to be just like this one. You see that? If you added that to it, what you're going to be looking at at that point then is looking at a 1, 3, 5 pattern that tells it you're still headed to go lower. And if we start getting above this level right here, folks, that tells you that this pattern is wrong and you have to do something else because you can't stand in front of it. It's like trying to catch a falling knife. It just doesn't work very well. So that's that's what we're paying attention to here. And, the, and, and I really need to talk about this because the theory behind that euro trade started – you know, uh, two weeks ago, because when we were hitting this uh, 382, 61% retracement, 61% retracement on this long term weekly right here. See, we missed it here by quite a bit. Then we backed off and we missed the 382 by just about 10 pips here, three days in a row. And then it took off and went up and made that 61% retracement two weeks ago. And now it's been rolling over. And as you can see, it's completing that ABCD uh, to the downside. So that's another one that, we, that we're that we wanting to uh, pay uh, really close attention to because it's, uh, it's an important one. And then what we, what we do is we follow it through here. This was, a, uh, this was done uh, last night because we started to see that the fact that this euro trade was finally rolling over. And how did we know it was rolling over? This was the one, three, five pattern. You see, there's your one, there's your three, and there's your five. The difference between this and a three drive to a bottom pattern, a three drive to a bottom pattern would look like this. There's drive one here, there's drive two, and there's drive three. That's what you're looking for. And the one, three, five is just a mirror image of the, the ABCD because what do you have in it? You have ABCDs, but the CD legs are all retracements. You see, goes right to the 78% level, right to the 61. There's your 382. And if you put the ABCD 382 together, it's going to get you down into this level here. And that's where we'll be looking to, you know, cover the euro and then wait for and actually go long and see if, in fact, it goes up to our next level. We reverse and go short again. So there's several trades in here if it lines up perfectly. Whether it's going to do that or not, one doesn't know, but that's the nature of trading, boys and girls. There's no question about that. Now, I'm not watching the uh, the markets right now, but I uh, wanted to see if, in fact, that the E-mini had held up against this 382 that it started earlier, and that was up here around the 1146 level. So that'll be one that if it happens, it's going to be uh, very, very interesting. And we'll, we'll, we won't know that until that happens, but we will pay uh, pretty close attention to it. And by golly, it looks like it uh, went right up to that 1145. In fact, it did stop. It didn't get above that 382 one more time. So that's what I'm looking at. By the way, folks, if you did do that trade in the uh, the the gold uh, selling at 11, uh, excuse me, 2044, you got a three dollar stop. You know, you're talking to something that's worth uh, 244, 204 thousand dollars. So make sure that you're not risking more than three dollars on that trade. Put your stop at 47, and uh, see if it's going to uh, you know hold up, you know, for uh, for a good trade and. If it's a bad trade, you just get ready and do the next one. That's basically uh, that's all that's all you're really doing. So that's pretty much it. I hope that answers the questions about the uh, the natural gas, also the questions about the hogs, and uh, those are the main questions because the natural gas did not make a 382 retracement as of yet. That's why we have to continue following it. I want to bring this. And this is what you do as a trader because you don't have to be in front of the machine all the time. All you have to do is to know when, and it, it's what you set your limit minders because when you get close, see, I will be watching the 382 retracement of this whole move now. So you can't use this one anymore because this one's higher. 
So your your line has got to be from your high. Let's try that again, Larry. From your low up to your high, and then you watch the 382 retracement. That'll be the one. And it might even come right to this level. I don't know. But that's where you want to be watching for a spot to say, okay, this is what, if it works, fine. And here's a contract that's worth $77,000. You risk 600 bucks. 600 bucks in the $70,000 is not a lot of money, folks. So that's one that you don't have to worry too much about. And oh my goodness, the clock on the wall says we're taking a break. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. Okay, folks, I posted the chart of the Dow Jones E-mini S&P because that's been the one that's been the strongest. Uh, the high we made Sunday night at 30 uh, 3,848 was an exact number. That was the high. That was the 61% retracement from the high on May 1st. Folks, in two days now, that's, uh, well, three days, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, we have not been able to make a 382 retracement. And that's in the, that's also coming true when we've had some pretty good corrections in the S&P, the NASDAQ, and the Russell. 
So the Dow Jones is holding up relatively well. Now remember, the Dow Jones is only 30 stocks, and they are price-weighted. In other words, the price of their stock is what counts. It's not the capitalization. Capitalizations, you take the price of the stock with the number of shares, that gives you the capitalization. So it's a skewed uh, program, but that's the way the Dow family wants it. Uh, anyway, it's held up extremely well, partly because of some stocks like uh, Microsoft and Apple and uh, also Boeing. All three of those are high-priced, and they're acting relatively well compared to the rest of the market. Whether that will continue or not remains to be seen. So let's pay a little bit of attention and we'll be able to answer those questions. But that chart's the most important one uh, of what we're looking at today and the fact that we have a major bottom on our hands in the crude oil market. So watch for your first ABCD pattern in crude oil on a half hour or hourly chart because, as H.M. Gartley said on page 222, watch for an ABCD bear, bull market buy and watch for an ABCD bear market sell. And he didn't have any idea about 0.382, but we do. And we know that it's a big help when you're learning to trade. So keep that in mind. Now, make sure you live every day in an attitude of gratitude. And may God bless. And we'll see you on the flip side tomorrow. Thank you, folks.